The other week I was talking about how the cats were getting in through the gap under the fence. I know if I block that gap under the fence, they're still going to get in the garden. But actually, I think once I start putting things down there, railway track, plants, that sort of thing, it's going to be a nuisance to have the cats coming in that way. There's actually the remains of a wall there. So I think it makes sense if I rebuild enough of that just to block the gap. The only way I can get over there, because I don't have a key to the gate at the end of the alleyway, is to climb over the wall. <laughs> so I'm going to try and climb over the wall now. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> I had a quick look at the wall. It's pretty crumbly, so I'm going to try not to disturb it, but knowing me, I'll end up rebuilding a lot of it. <laughs> This is turning out to be easier than I thought it would be because actually the wall is pretty much intact <laughs> below the ground. Um, so I can just build on what was originally there. I've even found the remains of the old back entrance. There's a blue brick threshold with a hole down the side where the gate post would have been that I dropped my trowel down. <laughs> so it's quite interesting. I'm finding out how the garden used to be laid out. I know it doesn't look like much, but it's taken me at least four hours to do what I've done today. I've done what I wanted to do, I've put them up to a height where they'll stop the cats getting under which means if there's a railway line or some plants or something running through there they won't destroy them. I think I'm happy with how it looks from the other side. It's just a brick wall <laughs> so who cares really. I might look into getting some climbers to go at the fence there anyway to provide a more scenic backdrop to my railway line when it goes out.